Make sure you have Topaz Remask installed and then open your image. From there, you'll want to open up Topaz Remask. To do that, go Filter, Topaz Labs, Topaz Remask. First, you'll want to use the paint to paint the entire image blue, and then you'll get the brush. And you'll use the green brush to mask the areas that you're going to want to keep in your image. And you don't have to color in everything, you just want to kind of make lines around the edges. And then when I'm done making lines around the edges, I generally go back and just, just fill in some of the areas that you also want to keep. But you don't have to be precise at all, you can just quickly go over it. And then after you've got the green for everything that you want to keep, you'll do the same process uh, with the red brush. So let me just grab the red brush here and I'll just paint little lines around the areas that I want to get rid of. And then once I've done all of that, I'm going to hit the Compute Mask button and Topaz Remask is going to do all of the, the work for me. And once that's done, I can go back and I can touch up. I'm just doing quick little clicks. I'm not brushing. I'm just using the brush tool and I'm just clicking on the areas that I want to get rid of using the red brush and then I can do the same. I can get the green brush and go back and touch up areas uh, that I want to keep that are looking a little bit transparent. You can also use the views across the top to change the views to help you to see it better. I like to start in this view and then you can always go to the the alternate views at the top. And then once you're happy with how your overall image looks, you'll just click the OK button and that'll take you right back to Photoshop. And I generally find in Photoshop I want to do a little bit more touch up and I have a layer mask right there that will let me do just a little bit more refining to my image.